Hi, I'm Peter Burns. I'm the CEO of the ARC. And, uh, thank you, Julia, for inviting me to say a few words um, today. And th thank all of you for coming out um, this evening. Um, you know, today we're haunted. Uh, we're haunted by a terrible problem that has existed this year and last year and for generations uh, here in the United States and around the world, it's the problem of our devaluing the lives of people with disabilities. And in its most um, extreme form, we see filicide, the intentional taking of the lives of a family member and in our concern, in particular, the family members of, uh, with, di with disabilities. Um, it is um, imposing a brutal toll um, on our, a brutal, a harrowing toll on our community. Um, in the past five years, there have been at least 400 cases of filicide um, in the disability community. Um, about a hundred since we gathered together last year. Um, and those are only the cases that we know about. It is, is certain that there are many, many more murders that um, we don't know about. And uh, those numbers are just in, in the United States. This practice is much more common and pronounced um, around the world. Um, the act of a parent to kill their offspring, their son or daughter with disabilities, is never acceptable. Um, it is something that offends our deepest sense of values. It is an affront to humanity. And it is really imperative on all of us to stand up and call it exactly what it is which is murder, which is a heinous crime, both against the individual and against our society. Um, too often in um, the media, these tragic events are described as if they were justified. Um, there is a picture painted of the, the beleaguered parent who is laboring under the burden that is imposed to, resulting from, by their son or daughter, the conditions of their son or daughter. Um, a heavy burden. And we really need to, to, to stand up and oppose strongly, as we're doing today, those media uh, portrayals. And always call out exactly what is taking place, which is a crime of the greatest magnitude. Uh, we need to urge the media to become better educated about people with disabilities, about their lives, about their loves, about their, con their humanity. Uh, we need the media to be more well educated about disability rights um, and to abandon these wrong-headed conceptions, this wrong-headed conception they have about individuals with disabilities and their relationship with their family members. Um, sadly, I think the media's portrayal is just symptomatic of a larger problem that we have in our society that has to do with uh, misconceptions and prejudices about people with disabilities. Um, and. Um, You know, it's very important that we're here today with ASAN and that there are vigils all around the, all around the country honoring the memory of those whose lives have been taken quite tragically. And that we take this moment to pause and reaffirm our commitment to fight for the rights of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, so for all disabilities, um, to fight to change the attitudes that are at the core of this problem that continues to haunt us year in and year out. 
we must do everything within our power to assure that these crimes are taken seriously um, by the authorities um, and that the perpetrators of the crime um, are uh, the perpetrators of, of the crimes um, are really dealt with to the full extent um, of the law, and that justice is done for the victims. Um, we must constantly remind those in positions of power, the prosecutors, the judges, everyone involved in the, these cases, that for considering these events as some type of normal response to severe conditions is simply wrong and is totally unaccessible. And we must also recognize that the attitudes that we're talking about that lead to something as tragic as filicide, as filicide are the same attitudes that also pervade many different aspects of the problems that we're confronting in the disability uh, community. You know, now more than ever, as Congress is po poised to cut Medicaid and roll back protections in the Affordable Care Act, we have to work together as a movement um, to affirm the dignity and value of the lives of people with disabilities and the importance of their being fully included and supported to be fully included in our society. These are not unrelated problems, and it all goes back to the core of our needing to, our society needing to appreciate the value of people with disabilities in our communities. I want to conclude just by thanking ASAN for organizing this event and the vigils across the country. It is extraordinarily important. It is very powerful. It is very moving, and it is very necessary for us to do this every year and continue to do this until we are no longer haunted by this terrible problem. Thank you.